Hey guys, so today I have filmed this uh, neutral, torpy, pretty much go with everything eye. It's a very easy one. It literally goes with any colored lipstick. So if you would like to have a little bit of a chat with me and go through this makeup look, then keep watching. Oh, you so cute, baby. Lately, I've been using the new Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this Derma Blend Instant Grip Jelly Primer on first. I just popped a little bit of moisturizer on before. And then I'm going to be using this, gotta shake it up really well, a Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. I was sent this about a week ago and I have been using it a lot lately and I really, really like it. This particular color is light 18 and I don't think it's my perfect match, but it's still pretty decent. It's got a little more, like it's, I'd say it's more of a neutral shade, but it's got a little more pink in it than I'm fond of. Uh, obviously it going on right now, it looks like it's a pretty good match to my skin, but it does oxidize just a little bit. So when it launches on September 2nd, today is it, or tomorrow, I'm going to buy a few for my kit and hopefully grab my right shade. I think I'm probably just a few shades below and hopefully I can grab something that's a little more yellow toned. I'm just gonna blend that down the neck. I'm gonna do foundation first and then I'll do my eyes and then probably by the end of this, you'll be able to see that it's oxidized just a little bit. So right now I am Labor Day here in the US and ah, pretty much uh, Labor Day is like the end of any nice weather, at least here in Michigan. It's usually bye bye to summer, which I'm really excited about fall. My husband and I are doing lots of fun things in fall that I'm really excited for, but I also just love sitting outside and enjoying the, the outdoors. It goes from like summer to freezing here and it's not fair. Um, I'm still using the milk concealer around my eyes. This is the shade Cream, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Um, almost out of this, my two favorite shades, Fair and Cream in this. Usually what I use, Fair is pretty much the exact same color as my skin, but I just, I love this concealer. I will definitely be repurchasing that. I've been using it for long enough now, safe to say that I like it better than the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. I always wanna say Too Faced Shape Tape. So today I'm going to be using a palette that I've been using a lot lately, especially these kind of more taupey, taupey, who am I? neutral shades. So I've been using this color Grace a lot just all over the eye and then a little bit underneath. That's been my everyday shade lately. So I'm going to, on this flat furless brush, I'm going to take this color Grace and I'm just gonna pop that all over the eye. I didn't bother with using a, an under eye primer. I haven't always been bothering with that lately unless I'm doing something that calls for having my makeup on for a really long time but I find that with these Cosette shadows they just last really well anyways so you don't have to do a primer underneath and my eyelids haven't been super oily or anything so my primer is fine for me. So just popping, patting that Grace shadow just all over the eyeball and then I'm going to take this Sigma Tapered Blending Brush with the same color, Grace. And I'm just gonna use that to blend through the crease of the eye. So as I was saying when I first started filming this video the first time, uh, today is Labor Day and I have the day off and I just really felt like doing some makeup today. And then I went and sat outside with the puppies and I was like, I'm not gonna film. I'm gonna sit in the hammock and read my book screw that and then I came back inside and I was like no I feel like I feel like filming today and then I came in sat down started filming and then my freaking battery died and I was like well it's not meant to be but 
here we are. It's a really, really nice day out today. I've already been to the gym and taken the puppies for a walk, done a little bit of grocery shopping, drank way too much coffee. This color Grace, just like that, has been my every day lately. Just with either one or two brushes, I will just kind of fluff that all over the eyes. I'm gonna get a little more of that color Grace with this, my favorite, Cosette S185 brush. Buff that underneath the eyes. Pretty much that's what I'll wear as an everyday right now. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm going to take this Union shade from Cosette and I'm gonna to start to deepen the crease. This is the perfect eye look for when you wanna wear pretty much any bold or any shade lip really. It's just a neutral eye, so it really does go with everything. I'm just using this fluffy brush just to build up a crease. I'm also gonna take a little bit of it underneath the eye and just darken up that outer corner underneath the lash line there. I'm gonna go back in with that first fluffy brush and that grace color that we were using and just buff that along that harsh line that we've created there. I'm kind of sticking, sticking that into the crease of my eye in between my eyeball and my brow bone. So when it's sticking in there, it's creating a thinner shape just from that bone structure from pressing it in there. So it's getting more so into that little crease that we made. If I was just kind of leaving it farther out of my crease and just buffing it, then you're using a lot more of a bigger area there. When you press it in, you're tightening that brush up just a little bit. I'm just gonna tap Grace and Honor and just use that along the edge there just to blend and buff out any lines that we have there. We just want it to be really like fluid and buffed. I did mention this palette in my last favorites video that I did. I've been using it so much. I have all of the Cosette shades in my freelance kit for work, but this little, all of the mattes together are pretty much the colors that I always go towards anyways. So if you are a freelance makeup artist or you just love matte shades, this palette is an absolute must have. I, I believe that it's $48 for all of these shades to buy separately, a little more expensive that way. Uh, so the palette is a really, really, really good deal. So I've kind of buffed out the definition that we have in the crease and I'm just gonna go back just a little bit with this 185 brush and just smoke it up right in the crease a little bit there. You can see I'm doing this with my eyes slightly open and I don't have very hooded eyelids but they are just a little bit on the outer corner. So you can see I'm just taking it a little bit above this like crease flap here and that will appear to give a little bit of a lift to the outer corner of the eyes and just kind of like blending on top of that. If I was to do only underneath the crease, it's gonna give a downturned look to the eye. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that grace shade and just buff that out as well. So a lot of this look, as you can see, is just kind of layering. So you're putting it on, buffing it in, adding a little more, buffing it back in and just making sure that it's all nice and blended. I'm gonna go ahead and add this color Dignified just cause it's a little bit darker. I just want that close to the lash line right here. But yeah, what's been going on? Summer, working, lots of wedding makeups of course. Still doing lots of microblading as well. Enjoying a little bit of time away from social media as well. I've been deleting my social media uh, when I have days off. So right now I've just deleted Instagram off my phone and I've been doing that every Saturday night. So I'll have Sunday, Monday, and usually Tuesday just free of Instagram and social media, which has been really nice. Because you don't realize, well, I don't realize how often I just pick it up out of habit, just mindlessly, not even not even wanting to look at it. I just pick
pick it up and start scrolling and it's just nice to have a detox from social. I'm going to use this nice tight but not too thin angle brush. This is really good for underneath the eyes. This is the Cosette D250 and I'm going to use that color Dignified just to get up close to the lower lash line right there. Sometimes when you're just using those blending brushes underneath, because they are so soft, they don't really lay color down. So if you want it to be a little more dense in certain areas, just use a nice little flat, firm brush. Usually my theory is I'll lay down a darker color and then I'll go back in with a color that's a little bit lighter and a little more, more of a blending brush and just blend the edges of that. This is because I do like more of that soft kind of blown out look. If you prefer it to be nice and crisp underneath the eyes, then you probably wouldn't be on this channel because I literally never do looks like that. But if you do prefer that, then skip the blending brushes and just use something nice and tight. I'm gonna go in with this Linda Horberg brush. So I've, I've pat down Dignified, I've blown it out, the edges just a little bit with Union and now I feel like I just need to add a little bit of grace, a color that's lighter than Union, just to really buff that out. That looks good for the eyes. I'm not going for anything really super perfect with this. I just want it to just be like hazy and dark and neutral. I'm gonna skip eyeliner. I just can't be bothered with eyeliner all the time. And I just want it to be a little bit, like I said, softer and hazy. And eyeliner sometimes adds too much of a sharp look to a blown out eye and ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna use Hourglass Caution Mascara. One of my faves. I do have a video of all of my mascara favorites, cruelty free and vegan mascaras. My top five. I would add to that Definitely the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara as well. I do really, really like that one. But pretty much all of my favorite top mascaras. Smudge underneath my eyes. One day I'll find one that's good for both, but right now I just use whatever I feel like on top. And then I'll take Urban Decay Troublemaker for the underneath. Ow. Freaking hell, I poked myself in the eyeball. If you ever get mascara under your eye like that on yourself or on a client, just let it dry, move on to a, a different area, do something else for a good five minutes, and then you can come back to it and flick it off with a clean mascara wand. If you go ahead and try to smudge it off now, it's just gonna mix in with, you, with your concealer and make underneath your eyes all gray and smudgy. Someone did once comment on a YouTube video that I'm pretty violent with how I put my mascara on. I think that it's just pretty normal, but I guess I could be a little more slow and cautious with it. So Urban Decay Troublemaker for the lower lashes. All right, cheeks. I'm going to use my favorite pale bronzer. This is the Makeup Geek Sun Kissed Bronzer. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna use that just on the back of the cheekbones, right here underneath the cheekbones as just a little bit of a contour. I like it because it's not really red, it's not really orange, it's just a nice bronzy color. Then, what should I use on the cheeks? I have lots of favorites right now. I'm gonna use this Milani Luminoso palette. So I haven't used this on my channel yet. I'm going to take just these two colors right here. I'm gonna pop that on the apples of the cheeks and then dust it back into the, into the bronzer shade that we just did. It could be a highlighter, but I feel like it's, it's passable for the apples of the cheeks as well. But if you are really concerned about having bigger pores or maybe you've got some texture or some pimples on the cheeks, then definitely skip anything that's shiny on the apples of the cheeks. I definitely have really enlarged pores on the front, so sometimes I'm like, no, I don't use shimmery stuff on my cheeks ever, but then sometimes I just don't care because I like how like 
glossy and dewy it can look sometimes. If you want a matte peachy blush, Ofra Bellini is one that I go to always. And often if I do bronzer and then this on the cheeks, I will pop a little bit of that Luminoso palette just on the tops of the cheekbones as well. I have like a little bit of a, a dark smudgy shadow going on right there. So I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and just buff that away. Sometimes you don't notice stuff like that until you're like halfway through editing your video. And then you're like, oh my gosh, well, I'm not gonna go through and refilm just because one side's a little bit crooked, but don't worry, because someone will tell you in the comments below. They won't let you get away with it. <laughs> Makeup's not meant to be perfect, you know, it's meant to be fun. When I first started taking pictures for Instagram, I was so hard on myself to make my makeup look so perfect and blended and even on both sides. But like when I would go out and just do makeup for myself, I would just do it and do it to, you know, the best of my ability, but also like not stress myself out about, you know, is it perfect on both sides? Is my eyeliner completely even? You know, just have fun with it, with makeup. So I don't know whether you can really see on camera, but my foundation has like settled in, oxidized just a little bit, like a half a shade. Looking at it in the mirror right now, it doesn't look too pinky or too neutral. Sometimes I can look in different lighting later on in the day and be like, oh, it looks like I have pinker foundation on. So I will definitely be buying another shade of this for my kit and for myself. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure out what shade is perfect for me so that those of you that follow me because you do have a really similar undertone, you can uh, you can know what color that I think is right for myself. Uh, but otherwise, I really like this foundation. Uh, as some of you know, I do microblading and I have to wear a face mask when I'm doing it. So often, if I wear more of a medium coverage foundation, it can just get like crappy and like smudgy around the nose because I'm constantly breathing into this mask and it's sitting on top of my nose and my cheeks and rubbing and every time I've taken my mask off my makeup still looks just flawless. It definitely is a makeup-y kind of look. I don't think that it's a, a super duper natural foundation. I'm sure you could probably use it more natural if you're using like Beauty Blender and shearing it down a lot. Uh, the Locket foundation, I don't use very often at all on myself because I don't really like a full, full coverage, but the True Portrait Foundation is gonna be a good one for my kit because it's a nice medium coverage. What I would say about it though is I did put it on and I, I put it on, you know, more of a full up, medium to full coverage, and I noticed that it was kind of accentuating fine lines um, on my forehead, which had never really happened to me before. Um, and just around here. So uh, if you do have drier and mature skin, make sure you're hydrating it really well before this foundation because it is more matte. I think that's the key is just hydrating your skin well before it if you, if you need that. Um, okay, so lips. I have these glasses from Valley and I've wanted to take a photo with these cute glasses. Uh, they're definitely give me more fall vibes and feels. I feel like I look like Jessie Grace Norton right now with my valley glasses on and my, and my fringe. So I do wanna do a lip that's gonna match this. So I'm gonna go hunt for a green lip. I'll be right back. So I'm definitely a sucker for a, a khaki, khaki lip, olive green lip. Um, these are a few of the shades that I have. So I have Kat Von D Tank Girl. I'm not sure if you can get that shade anymore. Uh, Atomic Makeup Cyclone. Definitely can't get that anymore. I love that shade. And then I also have this Eva Liquid Lipstick, which is a nice, it's a little bit darker. Let's do some lip swatches. I think that, yeah, Tank Girl is gonna be perfect. Where's that Atomic one? Oh, nay. No, I think Tank Girl is going to be perfect. The edge of my fig bangs is looking a little bit frizzled there. If you have some 
green lipstick at home already. I have this one uh, Necromancy Ophidian. And then if you have like a yellowy color as well, or even just like a beigey nude, you could definitely make your own as well. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my own little lipstick using Necromancy Ophidian and Solace Mortem. So just using like a little lip brush and I'm just gonna mix it up on the back of my hand until I feel pretty satisfied. I've been really, really liking, as you guys already know, because I use it so often, this lip texture. I um, haven't really worn very much liquid lipsticks lately. I like it because it's like a weird and unique color, but it's also pretty neutral as well. So that matches the glasses perfect. There you go, guys. That is a pretty easy, neutral, semi-smoky eye. You can definitely make it a little darker if you want to pop some eyeliner on the inside of your eye. I have like a really, really dark brown, almost black eyeliner would look really good. Um, even some dark, dark brown smudged along the lash line. I'm sure that most of you have similar shades to these ones that I used. They're just really nice neutral top shades that you can find. Usually they'll have it scattered in different palettes as well. If not, the Cosette Beauty one, if you don't already have it, is an incredible palette I recommend to everyone. And yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little comeback video for me. It's nearly fall. Uh, I will be getting back into the routine of doing videos a little more regularly. I don't know if I'm going to start doing them every two weeks like I used to. Um, maybe. We'll see. I really do enjoy time off. Haha. <laughs> but I do enjoy creating videos for you guys as well. Basically the only reason why I'm still here on YouTube and social media and Instagram, and I've said this a bunch of times, is because I like to be here to inspire people towards a cruelty-free beauty lifestyle, maybe towards more of a vegan lifestyle, and I really, really appreciate the people that take the time to message me that say that they're kind of continuing down that path. Um, you know, maybe they're switching all their makeup and beauty items out to a, all cruelty-free brands, and then maybe they're starting to ditch a little bit of meat or just live more of a kind of lifestyle. So basically, that is the only reason why I still come on YouTube and Instagram. Otherwise, I do just love my free time with my hubby and my puppies, but I stick around because I know that this is a really good platform to use your voice for that. So if you are interested in pursuing more of those kinds of products, just check out all of my other favorites videos and tutorials videos from before. Check out my Instagram for product recommendations and all of that fun stuff. To everyone that stuck it out to the end with me, thank you, love you guys, and enjoy what's left of the summer. I shall see you guys soon.